Hello and a wonderful Monday afternoon to all of you. I don't have anything to unbox or uh, really anything in particular to show off, so I'm just gonna have a little chat with all of you. Uh, this whole Tony Moran thing, uh, I just thought it would be interesting to talk about it and uh, just kind of give my little take two or take on that or throwing my two cents out of my pocket on that. Um, recently, you've probably seen the whole Tony Moran unmasked video floating around. And then recently, uh, Derek's horror stuff, which uh, if you look at his channel, he's actually posted quite a bit of this stuff. Um, and I just had to jump in because it seems like uh, just an interesting thing to talk about. Um, he went on in Daniel Harris's Instagram feed, I believe, to also do like a little apology. Now, when the whole first thing uh, floated out, the unmasked thing, uh, I think Tony Moran put up some like half-assed apology on his Facebook, which I feel kind of felt more like, uh, ooh, I got caught doing something bad uh, and I don't want to lose money, so I'm very sorry. It just kind of felt like that. Um, I think what, and here's the funny thing, like some people are calling him trash, some people are like, oh, it just, you know, whatever, this was a while ago that he said this stuff, but here's what people have to take into consideration when you say things like your actions do have consequences. And I think what um, is good about this whole thing that's going on is that it does show you that you have to watch what you say. It's not like you can just start blurting whatever out of your mouth. You have to be a little more thoughtful about what you're saying and smarter about it. Um, and really, some of the things that he said, there's just really no reason for it, like telling Tyler Maine to suck your pee-pee or something like that. Um, there's no purpose to that. If you actually went up to Tyler Maine and told him that in person, I think Tyler Maine would probably rip your head off. Um, so I don't really think it's very smart. So I basically just wanted to kind of get on and just, uh, you know, put this video up and just say, um, I'm curious what you guys think about the whole thing. Um, in my little description area, I'm going to put the Tony Moran unmasked thing uh, up the video. And I also put uh, Derek's Horror Stuff's uh, Instagram thing of... Daniel Harris right there. Um, I'm sure maybe Tony Rand's not really a bad guy, but what he really needs to do is really just, you know, do an actual authentic apology, you know, and be like, hey, you know, I said all these really not great things um, and acknowledge that the, you know, video that's floating around, it's not a hit job. It's just a, you know, greatest hits of all the bad things he said, like, you know, sitting there pissing on Halloween, which, you know, that's paved the way for you to be relevant in life like that's been you know what you're known for a lot of these people that you know you've said all these nasty things about oh this brick that wants to get my autograph and stuff like that like you know that's someone that's really excited to meet you and stuff like that and with that soundbite floating around they get a little deterred by that so you know you just got to look at this stuff and acknowledge it and really like make a genuine apology you know that acknowledges all that stuff you know say sir john carpenter sean clark Probably tell Tyler Mann that you're sorry about telling him to suck your pee-pee. That's, that's not good, you know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know, guys. I just wanted to kind of ramble off on that and just kind of give my two cents on that. And also, I'm curious what you guys think about the whole thing, too, because it's definitely a, a thing that's going on right now. So, uh, that's it for this video. And uh, I don't know. Hope you guys are all good this uh, Monday afternoon. Toodaloo.